All right, so we are back. I'm gonna be going over the brakes today while I have a couple of hours. So I'm gonna rerun this whole line back down. And then I just wanna make sure everything is all good. We're gonna hook up the brakes one at a time and see if any of them were causing an issue because I've replaced these backs for and it worked for a little bit and then it didn't. And then I cut the front ones and then it came up short even worse. So I'm wondering if we don't have an issue with any of the cross tube wire. Well, I don't know. See, I'm also wondering if we have any issues with the cross tube wiring or any of that. So I'm gonna pull everything out, go over hook things up one at a time and check this so hook one corner up and then slowly work its way around so that's basically what i'm working on today just to get this thing legal and uh yeah so we don't have any issues because as you guys know i always pass level one inspections i haven't failed a single one last year and i don't plan on failing a single one this year so this thing's kind of big we do have a load on monday uh we're going to be picking up out there at a manheim so i'll, I'll get to pick one of those up Whew, fall on ice, pick one of those up, and then that's going to West Virginia. I need to get on the load board Monday and pick something good because the load board was absolute trash on Friday when I looked, but I didn't look until like two, so that was a bad idea. So, um, all right, this thing, I need to bleed, I'm gonna bleed the coolant on this thing. We just went and looked at a car for somebody, so I'm gonna bleed the coolant on this thing too as well, but let's uh, get these lights apart and go from there. All right, a little bit of a lesson here for this wire, okay? I got to the second one, couldn't get it to the third one. So if you're gonna do this and pull this whole wire out, don't do it without actually tying another wire to it coming from the other side, so that when you do go to rewire, you can just pull the whole thing back the other way. Lesson learned, I'm an idiot. I couldn't figure it out, could not do it. So I got, I'm gonna put a grommet in here, but I drilled a hole out the back side, and I'm just gonna run it along the frame and make it easy to diagnose. I got my soldering iron out. So, like I said, I'm gonna re-solder every one of these, one at a time. I don't know if I'm gonna start from the back or the front. By the way, someone was asking if I ever replaced the equalizer. Yes, I paid Fleet Pride to do it. I regret paying Fleet Pride to do it, but whatever. So, that's what's going on. So let's, uh, there's the wire down there. And we have each wire. I'm gonna pull every one of the wires out of the cross tubes, and we'll get everything rewired up. All right, so here's what we're looking at. I got the wire ran. Um, seems like factory likes to shove them down back in here. Do I recommend it? No. Does it look clean? Yeah. So here's the underside of this box truck. It's actually uh, pretty tall up. I can see why this thing's light. Like this frame is very, very small for what it is. Leaf springs in the front. Big ass leaf pack in the back with some helpers. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing to it under here. The exhaust is tiny. I think it's like a three inch. But yeah, so but what we're gonna do is I need to go grab another battery because this one's dead. It's yelling at me. So I need to go grab a good battery. Hopefully I have one. That would help the screw back in. And we'll connect the back ones first. I have all the stuff for it and we'll just, we'll see how the back ones are and see how they react. All right, so obviously for testing purposes only, I have the wires just hanging. They're all connected by just literally just twisting them together because my soldering iron's dead. So I'm gonna have to go home and just actually do the finishing product tomorrow. Like I'll finish soldering it tomorrow. But I'm gonna test it today, and if all's good, then I'll solder them one at a time. It's like 20 degrees out here, so it's not too bad. Um, but I also want 
since I gotta start this thing, I might as well try to bleed the coolant. I don't wanna spend all day here. Um, the truck really doesn't need much other than a front main seal and an air filter, which that'll be in on Wednesday. So I don't have to worry about that a ton, but that'll be here. Um, you guys can see the whole front of the alternator is just oil. The whole inside of that pipe is black. Every, all of this is black. So I'm gonna get this all like sprayed off at some point. Yeah, so I got to figure out if coolant is going anywhere. I don't know if that's just residual down there. So we'll get this whole thing cleaned, then do the front main after the air filter's on, of course. But we'll see. It, it, little little things here and there. What happened to my cap? Goodness gracious, I lost my cap. Oh well. I'll grab another one. See, this here is what confuses me. It literally took almost nothing. So why don't I have heat? Why do I why do I not have heat when I'm driving? I'm wondering if it's just the fact that there's air go like I, I don't I don't even know how to explain it honestly. I'm I'm a fan. Sounds stupid. I'm trying to explain it. So I'm gonna get it fired up. See how she starts. I'm gonna get those wastegate solenoids on order so we can have exhaust brake function. Listen to this. Self clearancing turbo. something over the radiator just we'll see all right i'm gonna put this on the back burner till tomorrow just because of the battery situation so like i said one's already hooked up we'll test it uh i'll test it before i leave but i'm probably not gonna be able to test it correctly until i actually pull the trailer forward so i told you guys about this fitting here flow shift makes that fitting down there or they sell it. i don't know if they make it but it's still leaking every now so if you let the truck sit in idle it'll just drip wait about five every five seconds it'll drip fuel so i'm gonna pull that off i pulled it off before i'm pretty sure the two are sealed there i'm thinking that the o-rings are leaking so i'll check that out but as for that i need to get the exhaust brake to come on so i can get the truck warmed up because it's not bleeding any coolant so i'll get it warmed up first I need to cut the zip tie for the throttle cable and um, and then pull that line off. All right, so here's the fitting in suspect. So I'm pretty sure there's no leak from the center or the inside. I would hope there's not because I really Tefloned it pretty good. But we shall see. We shall see. All right, so here's what I got going on. I Tefloned it and I'm going to install it and watch it because I dried everything off. I Because I Tefloned it last time. I don't know if I put enough. Um, I don't know if there's a limit to how much you should put on. Not enough. I don't know. So I put like four or five wraps around on each snugged the ever-loving crap out of it without snapping it and somehow i got all three of them lined up so that's kind of cool so we'll get it installed um here is one's a rubber one's a rubber one and one's a copper one i don't know why i feel like i had a copper one before but i don't know this was on the base of the p-pump and this one was on the other side so i'm gonna switch them and see if that does anything either um, if it's a problem i'll go ahead and order new copper ones but even still i'm just tired of it leaking all right let's see probably gonna take a minute to start but i have to hold 
the throttle because I never primed it, but whatever. and I'll get back to you. If I have to hear this, so do you. Listen to this turbo. God, that is awful. My, it's like in person, it is ear shattering loud. So I'm just trying to get the truck warmed up right now so that I can see if there's any air pockets in it once the thermostat opens, you know, all that stuff. Um, I think the leak's fixed. I need to find a better spot to put the accelerator cable as opposed to putting it on that that fuel fitting so hopefully it doesn't leak anymore i haven't seen it drip i've been watching it for about five minutes now haven't seen a single drip so fingers crossed all right so it was um you know i'm gonna close the truck door it was uh really dry when i went and looked at it so i put my finger on it and everything fuel pressure is only 20 right now but whatever um yeah, so it was really dry, so we don't have any leaks there. I'm gonna watch it, obviously. Now we just need to do the front main again, and then that is it. So we're gonna get a Cummins genuine gasket this time. Because last time using the AutoZone one, because Cummins would not answer, they were super busy that day. But, I need to get this turbo rebuilt at some point. And figure out why it's, it's uh, hitting the housing. Because it is ear shattering loud in person. I don't know how it sounds to you guys yet because I haven't edited the video, but you know, in my case right now, it is ear shattering, especially when you're next to it. All right, so I got her pretty hot. I let it sit at a thousand RPM in, uh, with the exhaust brake on, which it wasn't super happy about after a while. Like it started spewing some white smoke. It didn't smell like coolant or anything, but definitely was spewing some smoke it wasn't happy about it so i think we've got the egts up there pretty high but i don't know i guess uh i guess we'll see we'll see if i have heat when i drive i have heat now obviously but i don't know i didn't put very much coolant in i didn't have to it didn't bleed all that much but let's see if i hook the this guy up here and there's there was grease on that i'm gonna hook it up and we'll see if we have a short. I'm just gonna connect it back here because why not? It's the same damn thing. So, yeah, let's see. By the way, if you're one of those guys that still runs one of these with a gooseneck, spend the fuck, spend the money and just get the one that actually goes in the bed. That's the proper way to do it. It's a good way to get DOT inspections randomly. They see something like that and they know you're cutting corners. If they can see that you're physically cutting corners, you'll get picked on a lot more. Just, just get yourself one of those. So let's see if it says short or not. I don't see it saying anything. It goes all the way up. Let's see if I can't turn the... It goes all the way up, so I don't know. Maybe that brake's good. What I want to do is... Obviously, I'm not going to go very far, but what I want to do is not only do I want to hook each individual brake up one at a time, I would also like to drive it. You know, I want to drive it with one brake at a time hooked up. So we'll start with the back, they're already hooked up. Solder all them, get the connections nice, drive around, okay? No short, great. Let's do it again, let's move to the next axle. Do that, boom, great. Then we'll move, to, and so on and so forth. We'll see if that works. Um, Obviously, I could hook one axle up at a time and just be like, okay, you know, that's it. It doesn't do a short, but then when I go to drive it, it causes a short. So, look at all this ice. I still can't. This tire confuses me. I'm going to, obviously, before I leave on Monday, I'm going to check that one again. Actually, I'm just going to check it again tomorrow when I'm doing the brakes. 
But that tire is being really, really weird. I gotta call them Monday and get some of these because these tires have been phenomenal. Discover HT3s from Cooper. I'm gonna be ordering a set of these. I'm also gonna consider a set of these for the truck. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. But yeah, so that's that's basically all today is just a short, quick little video. Hopefully we get the truck figured out. I'm gonna have him just do the do it for me. Um, once it's nice, I'm gonna go and actually like wash it. I don't think it's gonna get nice, but I do at least need to pressure wash the engine bay. All right, well, that's pretty much gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little short, but this is what I'm doing on Saturday. I am really trying on Saturdays and Sundays. I wanna spend a lot more family time because on the weekdays, I can literally work anywhere in between 14 and 20 hours a day. So it gets old. Um, I love what I do. I like the money that comes out of it. And I like that I can invest a lot of that money and to the side, but it is a lot of work. That would mean that Sunday and Monday videos for you guys, um, they may be a little bit shorter. They may be a little more boring or they may, may just not happen at all. But for the guys that do appreciate it, stick around, appreciate you guys. As always, this is the end of the video. Guys, links down below, celsius.network for your crypto storage. You get paid your uh, weekly yield interest on that. You also, I have my Coinbase code down there. I have my wallets. I have Mudflap code and my Amazon affiliate links. Everything down in the description. Go check it out. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.